All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. WIC World Igbo Congress in Texas has called for the immediate release of Mazen Namdekano and also condemned the ongoing killing attack that is taking place in Biafra land being carried out by the zoo terrorist army in uniform. Nigerians of Southeast extraction in the United States of America under the auspices of World Igbo Congress, WIC, have condemned in strong terms what they describe as genocide against people of the Southeast, popularly known as Igbos in Nigeria and in the diaspora. They also affirmed the self-determination -determ agitation in the Southeast and demanded immediate and unconditional release of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazen Namdekano, being detained by the Nigerian government. The WIC, in a communique issued at the end of, the, of its 24 annual convention held at Sheraton, um, airport hotel that is in USA said that its decision resonated profoundly with the growing urgency to confront the existential threats facing Igbos in Nigeria and in the diaspora and to forge a united front in pursuit of self-preservation progress and justice. The WIC said that the affirmation of the 2023 general election unleashed a wave of intensified ethnic hostility, especially targeting the Igbos. The Congress, in the communique, signed its, signed its chairman, Festus Okore, and the Secretary General, Chris Ogore, said this hatred manifested in in acts of destruction and seizure of Igbo owned properties, as well as physical harm across the country. The specter of Igbo phobia has intensified and diversified among several other Nigerian ethnic groups within and outside Nigeria, finding expression in chilling calls like Igbo's must leave Lagos and kill Igbos who wherever they reside, echoed not just by the fringe element but also by some political figures, elites and the members of the ruling class. Even among the most educated sector of Nigerian society where ethnic intolerance should be condemned, there has been tights complicity in the hatred and the marginalization of Ndi Ibo. In his keynote address, the WIC chairman called on Ibos to remain steadfast, united and determined to chart their way course aimed to the rising challenges. He said the political exclusion, economic exploration and the systematic violence targeting Ndi Ibo are unacceptable to a people to a people who um, who have played a pivotal role in the growth and the development of Nigeria. This injustice demand an immediate and organized response from all Igbo at home and abroad. The reality of Igbo prosecution cannot be denied. The escalating violence, economic sabotage and the social exclusion aimed at Ndibo are part of the calculated program to weaken and untimely carry out the second genocide against the Igbos. The Congress said that the time for passive endurance has ended, stressing restructuring Nigeria WIC beliefs offers a viable path to equity and inclusion. According to WIC, um, WIC resources allocation and the inclusive political representations 
can provide the condition necessary for Igbo and all ethnic groups to thrive and coexist peacefully. However, should Nigeria continue to fail in delivering justice and equity, the Congress reaffirms that the Igbo people must consider peaceful self-determination as specified by other nations that have successfully sought their independence. We declare that the Igbo are no longer willing to be passive victims of oppression. We will stand united in our resolve, embrace the 11th com commandment of Akuru law and safeguard all future with collective action. We call on Igbo, wherever they may be, to remain vigilant, resilient, and committed to the preservation and the protection of our people and heritage. The WIC resolved recognizing the increasing threats to the safety and well-being of Ndibo. WIC called for the immediate implementation of a robust security strategy aimed at protecting Igbo lives and properties in Nigeria and beyond. Align with the proposal from Anya Eyes Ndibo. The Congress urged the Southern East governors to, to form state vigilance in collaboration with Tan Union, ensuring a coordinated security effort across all Southeast region. The communique added the Congress expressed grave concern over the rising tide of uh, Ibophobia, including health speech, destruction of Igbo properties and businesses, racial profiling, and targeted violence against Igbos. The WIC called on the Nigerian government and international bodies to take immediate and decisive action to protect Ndibo from discrimination and violence, including online health campaigns, Igbo communities worldwide. We are urged to remain vigilant and united in confronting those challenges. The Congress restricted the need for equi equ equitability, treatment, politica, political inclusion, and economic empowerment of Ndibo within Nigeria, including fair representations and the protection of Igbo's rights and interests. The Congress called for sustained restructuring, dialogue, and advocacy to ensure peace and harmony within the various ethnic nationalities. The Congress said, in the event of continued marginalization and Igbophobia, WIC affirmed the need to explore peaceful self-determination, referencing examples such as the peaceful dissolution of countries like Yugoslavia and the formation of nations like Bangladesh and Pakistan. Immediate release of Unam Dekano WIC once again called on the President Ahmed Bola Tunumbu to immediately release Unam Dekano. The Congress maintained that his release is not only a legal and moral imperative but also a necessary step towards justice and reconciliation within Nigeria. So this is where we come to an end. Um, Ibo Congress in Texas, USA, they have reacted to the ongoing massacre of Igbo people in Biafra land being carried out by the zoo government and also called immediate release of Mazi Namdekano from detention. This is where we're going to stop. Please leave your comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you. God bless you all.